Hey, it's a terrific day. I'm right outside Mesquite, Nevada. This cactus here is a Cylindropuntia echinocarpa, also known as a silver chola, golden chola, and a Wiggins chola. Now it's closely related to and confused with the jumping chola, which is the Cylindropuntia bigelovii, which is also known as a teddy bear cactus. So our cactus here is most common in desert dry wash, near creosote bushes and Joshua trees, and you find them throughout all Mojave and Sonoran deserts. And they're considered to be large tree-like cacti that grow about six feet tall, maybe 10 feet tall, but the ones we mostly come across are only about two feet tall. They're densely branched, they have very short trunks, and lots of spines. So the stems are made of cylindrical segments with tiny tubercles, or node-like segments, which are less than half an inch long. And each tubercle has up to 20 long, straight, gray, or yellow spines, which stick out about two inches. So these spines, they can be either white or yellow tannish in color. And the white spines have the name silver chola, and the yellow tan spines, well, they have the name golden chola. And as cactus will flower in spring and summer, usually the flowers are greenish yellow, sometimes even pinkish or brownish, and the flowers will die back and provide us a bumpy, spiny, tan fruit. This is about three quarters of an inch long, has a foul scent of rancid butter. Now most of these fruits end up falling on the ground before they reach maturity, but they do have little white seeds for propagation. Now if you want to grow this at home, you can find varieties which are taller, shorter, more or less dense, or white, or yellowish spines. And they're great for your drought tolerant cactus or rock garden. All right. Well, that's our uh, Cylindro Puntia Echinocarpa. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.